Cable clutches might be very common, but more and more fancy European bikes are coming with hydraulic clutches. So they must be better, right? Does it even matter these days with quick shifters that require less clutch use than ever before? Well, today we're going to go over the differences between the clutches, what makes each one good and bad, how to spot the difference, and which one is ultimately better. My Yamaha MT-09 has a cable operated clutch, just like all the bikes I've owned before this. But my Husqvarna Supermoto over here is the first bike I've ever owned with a hydraulic clutch, which has given me a chance to see what the difference is and help me to decide on a favorite. The first thing that you need to know is that both of these systems do the same thing. They both simply actuate the clutch itself. The physical clutch doesn't differ. So when we refer to hydraulic and cable clutches, we're only talking about the system that actuates the physical clutch. When you pull the lever of a cable operated clutch, there's a cable attached to the lever that in turn pulls an arm somewhere on your engine usually around your clutch cover, but not always. When this arm is pulled by the cable, it turns and separates the clutch plates, which disengages the engine from the rear wheel. A hydraulic clutch does the same thing, but when you pull the lever, you're actuating a master cylinder that forces hydraulic fluid down the hose and to the slave cylinder on the other end, which separates the clutch plates. The master cylinder setup on your handlebars is more or less the same as your hydraulic disc brakes. In fact, the fluid is often brake fluid or sometimes mineral oil. So which is best? I mean, you can even buy kits to convert your cable clutch into a hydraulic one. Because like I said, you'll usually find hydraulic clutches on fancier bikes, but cable clutches are a lot more common. That's because cable clutches are cheaper to produce and install, not to mention easier to maintain for the average weekend mechanic working on their own bike. But they're not without their downsides, hence why hydraulic clutches even exist. Cable clutches need more maintenance because they require occasional lubing and can potentially snap with age. They also need to be manually adjusted more frequently as the cable stretches and clutch plates wear. In contrast, a hydraulic clutch self-adjusts to clutch wear, saving you the hassle. And everybody's favorite thing about hydraulic clutches is the light pull at the lever. But when things do go wrong, they're trickier and more expensive to repair. But if you take money and maintenance out of the equation, it all comes down to personal preference. Personally, I still prefer a cable clutch because it offers better feeling and feedback, at least in my opinion. A hydraulic clutch might be lighter to pull, but it doesn't feel as connected to the clutch. A cable clutch feels slightly different throughout the pull, giving you more information to process. Whereas a hydraulic clutch feels very consistent throughout the pull, but feels less connected. But you may prefer that. It's all personal preference. So next time you look at a new bike, see what clutch it has. If it has a cable sticking out between the lever and the clutch perch, or if you follow the line and find an arm that is pulled by a cable, then it's obviously a cable clutch. And if there's a reservoir for fluid near the lever and these banjo bolts on at least one end of the hose, then you know it must be hydraulic. But anyway, share this video with a friend to prove that your clutch is better and let me know which one you prefer. Subscribe to learn more about bikes and I'll see you on the next ride.